James? Uh, no doubt. Tristan very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. Partner. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What are you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Hey, fella. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call him. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bearing. <laughs> yeah! What's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Watch out. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How oh, he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house? Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Yeah. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there.
Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? <sighs> Let's wait. Okay. <laughs> Let's get on with this, Mr. Uh, Morgan. Yes. <clears throat> Let me head up there and make a fool of myself. <laughs> with pleasure. Just don't get caught. Because it's me, they'll shoot first. <clears throat> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then.
Down, Arthur? Yep. I covered my tracks so well, they won't even know I was in there. Good work. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Yep. Damn it, they're on to us. We need to get out of here. Riding out. Uh, I guess I should have tried leaving the back way. Slow down. You'll burn out the horses. Too late now. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. Slow it down a bit. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> No doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> You're gonna crash if you don't slow down. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yeah. Easy now. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> 